everyone and welcome to my channel, The Amazing World of Stories. I read every night for 20 minutes. I'll tell you why in, a vid in an upcoming video. Today's book is called How Animals Smell, Taste and Touch. Finding out about the world. Like humans, most animals can smell, taste and touch. These scents help animals to find out about the world around them. Mosquitoes are brilliant at sniffing out people. They really like the smell of sweaty feet. Dolphins have a very good sense of touch. Some insects smell and taste using their feet and antenna. Not all animals smell, taste and touch in the same way than humans do. Some animals taste with their feet, touch with their noses, smell with their antenna. These animals use their special senses to help to help them to survive. Super smell. Some animals have a super sense of smell. This is useful in many ways. It can help animals to de detect danger. It can help them to sniff out food or find a mate. Smelling the air even helps some, some animals to find water in dry places. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. They can smell water from five Caravans away. Elephants raise their trunks to sniff the air. Polar bears are champion smellers. Bears use their super sense of smell to find food. Polar bears, bears can smell food such as seals under the ice. Infamuffs. The world's sharpest sense of smell belongs to an animal without a nose. Infamuffs smell using their large antenna. Air flat flows over to and to the antenna. As the moths move, the antenna are covered in smelling receptors which pick up the smell in the air. Emperor moths use their amazing sense of smell to find other moths. Male moths can smell female moths from, from as far as 11 kilometres away. A close up picture of a moth's feathery antenna, a male emperor moth. Sharks have a better sense of smell than any other fish. They can sniff out a tiny drop of blood from one kilometre away. This helps them to find food in huge oceans. Sharks smell using two special places under their snouts. This is a great white shark. Hammerhead sharks strange healths may help them to work out where a smell is coming from. Great white sharks love to eat seals and sea lions. Scientists think these sharks stick their heads out of the water to sniff out their favourite food. Nose to the ground. Many animals have a much better sense of smell than humans do. We have about 5 million smell receptors in our noses. This is enough to smell 10,000 different smells. This mountain rescue dog is looking for people trapped under the snow. Dogs are trained to sniff out truffles as a type of mushroom that grows underground. Dogs have around two, 200 million, million smell receptors. Police and rescue dogs can be trained to sniff out anything the police want to find, such as trapped or missing people, people who, who have carried out a crime, dangerous poisons, hidden objects. Top taste. Humans taste things by using our tongues. These are covered in taste buds which help us to work out if something is good to eat. An earthworm is like a long wiggly tongue. Its body is covered in taste buds. Octopuses taste things by using the suckers on their tentacles. Some animals can taste an object without putting it into their mouth. A special sense of taste using other parts of their bodies help these animals to find food or mates. Not all tongues can taste. A snake's tongue has no taste buds. It only it's only used to bring food into the snake's mouth. As the snake's tongue flicks out, it collects tiny bits of material from the air and ground. Then the tongue flicks back inside the snake's mouth. There is a special area on the roof of the snake's mouth. This tastes everything on the snake's tongue. The snake can work out if there is a, is a prey nearby. The snake can taste things without touching them. Some lizards taste the air in the same way as snakes do. They use their special skill to find a mate. Fine fins and barbels. 
Fins can have taste buds almost anywhere on their bodies. Some fish have taste buds on their fins. They can taste food just by brushing against it. A catfish barbels are covered in taste buds. Sea robins have taste buds at the tips of their fins. They can taste food just by touching it. Some fish have taste buds all over their bodies. Catfish are covered in more than 100,000 taste buds. This is 10 times more than humans have. Catfish also have special body parts growing from their heads. They look like whiskers, but they are called barbels. Catfish can taste food with their barbels. Insects. Some insects have taste buds shaped like, like tiny hairs. Each hair can tell the different tastes of sugar, water and salt. The hairs are usually found near an insect's mouth. Some insects have taste buds on other parts of their body, such as their feet. This is handy for insects that land on food feet first. Flies use their mouths and feet to taste. Some flies have up to 3,000 3, taste buds on their feet. A butterfly rolls its proboscis into a tasty flower. Butterflies taste with their feet. When a butterfly finds it standing on something yummy, it rolls down its long proboscis to suck up the food. For few for humans to feel something, we usually have to be close enough to touch it. Some animals have a super sense of touch. They can feel the world around them without touching anything. See, animal, animals look like flowers. They are really animals which with an amazing sense of touch. Sea animals use their sense of touch to catch food. When a fish brushes against one of the animal's tentacles, it triggers a poison string. Seals use their whiskers to fill fish from a, a distance and work out which are best to eat. Whiskers help cats to feel exactly how far away they are from objects around them. Hold your hand flat on a table as somebody knocks on the surface. Can you feel the vibrations? Some animals have special body parts to help them sense vibrations. Amazing touch means elephants can communicate by stamping. Elephants stamp the ground with their feet when they feel alarm. They are not trying to look scary, they are warning other elephants about danger. An elephant's foot has some has special touch sensors in the soil. Vibrations from the stamping travel through the ground. Other elephants pick up the vibrations through their feet. They can feel the, the vibrations from a stamping elephant up to 50 kil kilometers away. Fish. Fish can feel vibrations in the water. They have a special groove that runs along their body and onto their head. There are scent receptors in, to, in the groove. These scents tiny movements in the water. Feeling from a distance helps fish to swim close together with, without bumping into each other. As a fish swims, it makes ripples in the water. The ripples travel away from the fish and bounce off at anything around it. The ripples bounce back towards the fish. This, this fish, the fish feel the moving water. Its super sense of touch tells it what is nearby. A special line along the side of their bodies help fish to feel things from a distance. Bugs and spiders. Bugs are brilliant at feeling vibration. Cockroaches can sense air movements as tiny as the breeze from a wasp's wings. When a cockroach feels the air moving, it runs. Nothing can sneak up on it. Cockroaches are the world's best animals at feeling vibrations. A spider feels tiny movements from something caught in its web. Most spiders can't see very well. They use their sense of touch to find food. Some spiders have special hairs on their legs to send vibrations from the wings on an insect that is flying towards them. Star-nosed mole. Star-nosed moles live in the dark underground tunnels. They aren't very good at seeing or hearing, but their amazing sense of touch helps them to find food. A star-nosed mole about to go hunting. As a star-nosed mole crawls along its tentacles and its lamp, touch everything around it. The mole can feel 12 things every second and work out what they are. It gobbles up anything that feels delicious. 
such as worms and insects. Starnose moles have 22 twitchy feely tentacles on their snouts. This is the end of my book. I hope you enjoyed this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!